My name is Lisa Libby, and I'm the Planning and Sustainability Director to Portland, Oregon Mayor Sam Adams. Mm -hmm. Portland, Oregon is in the United States uh, in the Pacific Northwest corner, uh, so we're about three hours south of Seattle and about ten hours north of San Francisco. And we're located about one and a half hours in from the Pacific Ocean, near the Cascade Mountain Range, uh, so it's a beautiful area. So. I think uh, one of the most significant achievements that we've seen is a 20% reduction in carbon uh, emissions over the last uh, 20 years. So 1990 levels, uh, we've been trying to reduce our carbon emissions and what we now see is that we've been able to reduce for them by 20%. However, as Portland is a very attractive city, a very livable city, we have a lot of growth that's occurred there. We've had 24% growth since 1990, and so what we've seen is 20% uh, per capita reductions. However, with growth included, we're 2% below. So it is a significant achievement. We've got a lot of work to do still, and I would say that the probably the second thing is passing our uh, climate action plan. So we've set very uh, aggressive targets for 2050 to be 80% below our 1990 levels in our carbon emissions reductions. And so uh, working toward those goals is going to be a significant challenge, but I think that uh, if any U.S. city can do it, Portland can. Uh, we're very fortunate in Portland. The people that live in Portland care very much about uh, the abundant natural resources that surround our city. Uh, beautiful forested areas. Um, there have been smart decisions that have been made over generations to be able to protect the farm and forest land and, and the beautiful natural resources that surround the city. And so because of that, uh, we have a population that very much has supported these kind of efforts and continues to uh, advocate and, and, and encourage and support leadership in making decisions like pushing for carbon emissions reductions. But I think also um, it's, it's maybe less about climate change for people. It's maybe less about just reducing carbon and it's more about the fact that the things that we do to reduce our carbon emissions actually make Portland a very wonderful place to live. It means transportation is very convenient and, and localized. It means people can walk to their neighborhood grocery store, um, not in every part of the city, but we're trying to expand these efforts so that it's more convenient for people to access local goods, to support local businesses, um, to be able to go to a nearby park or school and, and have things close by, which uh, makes it a more livable community. Of course, we, we would like very much to believe that we're the best example in the U.S. I think we're the best example for a city of our size. Um, Portland showcases uh, what a mid-sized city can do. I think that there are you know, clear challenges between what, you know, what is capable in Portland and maybe what a larger metropolis would be facing. Um, but I think uh, because of our size, there are smaller cities too that, that can look to us for, you know, for inspiration, but also we continue to look around the world for other examples of where best practices are. So we try to go and steal the best ideas and take them back to Portland and continue to improve upon the things that we've done right and, and to, to make sure that we're moving in the right direction and not just you know, settling for the, the accomplishments that we've already seen. Uh, it's a beautiful country. I, I've really enjoyed being here. I've only been here for a few days, but I'm looking forward to the rest of the week and the time that I'm going to spend here. I'm also looking forward to seeing more of, of the countryside and traveling down to Kaohsiung and then back up to Taipei. Um, but it's it's been a wonderful experience, and I appreciate the opportunity to be here. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much.